there is an optional side chest that you can purchase which hangs off of these lips here and um, that is £161 and it gives you another few drawers it comes out to about here uh, for a bit more storage but I don't need that at the moment Welcome back to the channel. So you may remember when I first showed everybody my new, or was when, it, when I bought it, new top chest and roll cab, I talked about there was a side cabinet and although it was fairly expensive for what it was, I may well pick one of those up one day. There it is. Now I was lucky in that I didn't actually have to buy it. Uh, my two lads, my boys, um, were very generous to their dad at Father's Day and treated me to uh, the side cabinet. So, uh, this is the side cabinet. It matches this, although interestingly, I don't think this was directly designed specifically. When this is retailed, it's not specifically stated that it goes with this set, but it does. It is exactly the same uh, depth. It's got the same drawer types. Uh, they are a little bit deeper, which is a little bit more useful. There is um, eight drawers, two, four, six, yeah, eight, draw <laughs> eight drawers in it. They're sent separately locking, and it hangs on the side there. But you have that same lip on both sides, so you could have it on that side, or you could have it on that side as well. Um, it is the same situation. Oh, hang on a second, let me just unplug. Charging the camera there. So it has the same uh, draw liners as um, the other Clark um, HD Plus uh, range. Um, the draw runners are aluminium with the plastic end caps, which is nice. Um, has the same detent, so you close the drawer and then it snaps shut. One thing I have found with this one is the detent is quite, quite stiff. So um, I think, I guess they'll ease up over time. But I do, do think I'm gonna have some uses for these. And what's interesting is, is if you have a look at the thickness of those drawers compared to these ones, they're probably nearly double the thickness of the drawers in the cab. And these drawers in the um, top chest. So I'm going to be able to put different things in there that aren't necessarily going to fit in that uh, top cab or, or chest. And then there's a very deep drawer at the bottom here. Now for those who may be interested. So how deep are these drawers, Mark, we say? Let's lock this out. So they're two inches deep, or actually they're a bit more than that. They're 550 mil deep. And then the bottom one, which is deeper. Excuse my poor camera abilities here when I'm holding the camera. They are, or well this one is 130 mil, 13 centimeters, or five and a quarter inches deep. Um, yeah, so, they're about 26 and a half centimetres or 10 and a half inches wide. And 15 inches or 38 and a half centimetres deep. 
So, very pleased with that. A bit more tool storage real estate to um, get some more tools. I've got a bit left in that and I've got the other um, tool chest still behind there and that's full. The top chest's pretty full now and the bottom cab is uh, pretty much getting there so that provides me with a bit more storage. So uh, yeah, really pleased with that. So um, if you're thinking about getting one of that, this was £161, so I think the top chest was somewhere in the region of 200 and something. Um, the bottom cabinet is about 400 So I'm not sure in terms of the cost of that, whether that relates to just under that, but there we go. In any case, I'm really pleased to get it. You know, really appreciate that from my boys. I'll always obviously have that and that's great. So that's it for that and just whilst I'm doing this uh, look on that I'm thinking about and toying around with sort of hutch type ideas for the top here. Uh, I don't really want to, um, these have to stay up here and I spoke about it in a previous video where this, when this swings down it hits these, it hits the top of the sockets so uh, it's a bit of a pain really. Um, the previous tall haul. I bought a light which would go up there, uh, LED light, not that I really need it, it's, but perhaps if I put the sides in it might become a bit darker under here, not too sure. So I just cut a bit of PVC pipe just to see how that might be, how that might look, I'm not sure yet, might grow on me, uh, keeps the dust from settling on them. Uh, the other option is I might, um, might store the sockets in a different way, but I do like how the sockets sit in there like that, and they're very easy access. In the um, in the bottom drawer of this chest, it's not deep enough to take a, a deep socket standing up, and I could put it in that bottom drawer, but it's uh, not really the most comfortable thing. Keep bending down, you know. I've got sort of least stuff used in that bottom bit but anyway i'll work it out one way or the other uh so um yeah so that's it for today just wanted to um have a quick show on the on the side cab if anybody's thinking about adding that to this kit you know if they've looked at that previous um previous video and thought i want you know see what that looks like um oh my i don't know if also doing a bit of a mop up and all sorts here here um previously i spoke about this and putting this in the Jeep. Um, so I've spoken to some police officers and frankly, they, you know, there's no real issue with it going in the Jeep. People commented that I had a certain level of concern about it being assumed of being an offensive weapon uh, in the UK. You can't seem to put anything anywhere without it becoming some kind of thing you're gonna get arrested for. But uh, what my son has done for me, he's got a 3D printer, so he made me these clips uh, for it to sit in printed those for me so they they would fit quite nicely uh, along the seat side of the seat in the Jeep yeah so that's pretty cool pretty cool so that's it thanks for watching uh, see you on the next one bye for now have a great day or evening or whenever you're watching it bye